All right, thank you, Mike. And thank you to everybody who's attending today or listening to a replay. And of course, thank you to the Nomad PHP folks for having me and thank you to everybody for supporting PHP. Um, as, as was mentioned, this is a quick lightning talk, which is somewhat ironic today. Uh, I am broadcasting here from Rochester, Minnesota, uh, and it is actually about to storm outside. So uh, the irony is strong, but uh, maybe that's a good, good omen for something. So uh, I already got the, good, the introduction, so thank you for that. But uh, you know, I do also just want to add to that that you can feel free to reach out to me directly if you have any questions whatsoever about what I talk about today, or of course, anything in general related to open source on IBM I or even IBM I in general. Just feel free to find me however you can find me and I will do my best to help you out. But the topic today is the ODBC connector, the new ODBC connector that we have available for IBM I and why that's important. And so to start that conversation, I'm really going to visit what the IBM I DB2 landscape looked like before. And I'm focusing on PHP today, of course, but this is actually a similar story across the various languages that we have on IBM I. So it's actually a very similar story and similar timeline when it comes to Ruby or Node.js and JavaScript or Python or even R now. A lot of, a lot of these uh, languages have the same story as PHP. And that is, you know, once upon a time, many years ago, we had modules created by IBM called IBM DB2 or the PDO form, which is PDO IBM. And that was created with the intent of being the MO, the normal way that you talk to an IBM DB2 database, regardless of what platform your DB2 database is running on. Now, uh, that was and probably still is the de facto standard for connecting to a lot of the flavors of IBM DB2. But DB2 for IBM I is a little different because IBM I comes with the database embedded in the operating system. And most IBM I customers don't actually have the DB2 licensing in place that's needed for this thing to work. So you can see here, it would communicate over TCP. It would talk to the database server and that's how it got its job done. So in response to that, you know, we, we realized that this wasn't a good answer for the IBM I folks, or back in the day it was technically, I guess, I-series folks. Um, so what IBM created with partnership from Zend is this fork, if you will, of IBM DB2 and PDO IBM that had a special sauce in it just for IBM I. Right, that special sauce essentially talked straight to APIs that are distributed on the platform that talk to the database known as CLI, callable level interface. Uh, that, allowed, that allowed database applications to just run and do their thing, just, just like you can see in the simple code snippet here. And, and for the most part, it worked just like the IBM DB2 would for the other platforms with just a couple differences. Those differences being, you don't need a separate DB2 license, and of course, instead of going over a TCP connection, it would go straight to these APIs. And this was created you know, almost 15 years ago. This was created when PHP was brand new to the IBM I platform. So it is uh, very well established. It does have a great track record. It's of course powering a lot of business, has been powering a lot of business, but um, we're not done evolving the database connectivity story for IBM I because there is another way. And, and of course, you already know the other way, given the title. Uh, the other way is actually the ODBC way. And I say the new here, and some of you may be thinking, wait a second, ODBC has been around for a very long time. And I'm guessing most of the folks on the call or watching the replay are familiar with ODBC. You know, you know what it stands for, you know what it does, you know why it's important, and you also know that it's old as snot, right? Um, so what's new that I'm here to talk about today? Well, we, we had this ODBC driver that's been available since 1995. That o ODBC driver has been supported on Windows and Linux for a very long time. Windows since 95, I believe Linux since around 2000. And so if you were writing a PHP program or a program in you know, any language that supports ODBC, you could write a Windows program or a Linux program to do it. 
but of course you, you couldn't do that on IBMI until now, right? So just last year, we actually released the ODBC driver and driver managers that are needed, all the technology needed so that you can utilize that ODBC technology directly on IBMI to even talk to the local system. And that's what's new. So in case it's not apparent, I do just wanna spend uh, you know, a minute in this quick lightning talk to talk about why this is important, right? And, and first off, it's important because in my opinion, it's a lot more convenient and a lot simpler to use kind of these industry standard APIs and libraries rather than something that's specialized for your system. ODBC is a well-defined standard. Use of ODBC in languages like PHP is a relatively common practice. There's plenty of documentation, there's plenty of community around it. So that in itself is, is more philosophical but a definite advantage to using ODBC. But perhaps even bigger is that we finally have the flexibility now to um, write PHP programs on multiple platforms that have the same code that can talk to IBMI, right? Meaning, for instance, if you have to make the decision before whether or not you want to have a multi-tier architecture or if you want to flatten your application and run everything on IBMI, that was almost a decision you had to make up front. Because if you wrote your application for IBM I, you're going to use that IBM DB2 module that only runs on IBM I. And if later you decided to make it a multi-tier architecture and you wanted to run this middle tier perhaps on a, on a Linux partition or something like that, then you had to rewrite your code, right? Or refactor usually, because the interfaces aren't that different. Right? And the opposite is also true. If you wrote a multi-tier solution and then you wanted to flatten it and run it all on IBM I, again, you'd have to re rewrite portions of your code to get it to work, which of course means you retest and so on. I um, mean, the other thing, you know, and this is something people have been asking us for, for for almost 15 years, people want to be able to just write code on their PC and click a button and deploy it to where they want to deploy it. So now you can you can actually write your application on your Windows PC or your, your Linux PC or coming soon Mac PC. So you can use your local debugger, whatever tools suit you best, and then easily deploy that to IBM I. And you're essentially using the same PHP code. You're using the same ODBC driver because it's just the same driver that we've shipped across those platforms. So it gives a lot more flexibility to what you can do there. Right. Um, the other big reason is related to licensing and more importantly, support, right? That, that IBM DB2 module of the past, that was, um, you know, I say limited support. It was never officially supported by IBM or anybody for that matter. Uh, it was, uh, you know, you could still open support tickets for it, but it was what we called best effort support. Um, you know, it, it just wasn't that, wasn't that great. Where with ODBC, you actually now have, for the first time, a fully supported way to talk to the database because you can get support for your PHP runtime. You can get support for the ODBC driver, which is actually included in your operating system license or your software maintenance agreement with IBM I. And of course, the, you, you talk to the database that hopefully is supported if you're running in any form of production. So, so that's a really big reason as well, because now, Again, for the first time, you have a, a supported top to bottom way to communicate with the database. So if I were a strategist or somebody looking at developing new applications on IBM I, I would definitely be looking at this ODBC option. So uh, quick pointers on how to get started. You know, really simple. Make sure you have PHP installed. That's the obvious one. If you're on a Unix-like system, which does include IBM I, you need that Unix ODBC driver manager. You're probably well aware of those technologies already anyway. You need to get that driver. We have an article linked here that'll help you, you know, just give you the pointers on where to go download this ODBC driver. And then you just write ODBC code as per the PHP manual. Right? So overall, it's, it's actually a pretty easy process to get rolling with this new ODBC driver. So I'll finish up here. Uh, key takeaways for the IBM I folk who may be watching or, um, or even attending live. 
you know, just be aware, yes, we have an ODBC driver that's now available on IBM I. They can talk to the local system. There's a lot of good stuff about it. And yes, you should consider migrating to it if, if, you, if you possibly can. Now, for everybody else, who might be the majority of us, um, just be aware that the IBM I ecosystem is becoming more and more normal every day. ODBC connectivity is part of that. We also have the same PHP options, essentially. We have free community PHP available as well as Zen Server. Um, so if you do encounter IBM I in your professional life, know it's becoming normal. Um, but also for the folks who are attending who aren't IBM I folks, now you can wake up and I will hand the mic back over to um, our uh, Nomad PHP folks who will get rolling with the main presentation for today. But again, thank you for attending and I hope everybody has a fantastic day.